Hello everyone, this is Indu. Welcome back to my channel Indu Media. Hope everyone is doing great, fantastic. And now we are already in the month of January. That makes me to remind uh, the, some of the legends that are born in this month. And you know what? When I was googling uh, for the people who are the legends born in this month, I couldn't believe there are uh, so many, so many legends born in this month. Uh, really hats off to all of them. There are uh, famous cricketers, uh, Kapil Dev, Raman Lamba born in this month, and uh, famous uh, freedom fighters, Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose, Lala Lajpat Rai, they're all uh, the fa famous freedom fighters of India born in this month. Also, uh, Bollywood celebrities like uh, Hrithik Roshan, Deepika Padukone, Priti Jinta, Vipasa Basu, they born in this month. Also, the Tollywood celebrities like uh, you, I, uh, I'm, I can't even recollect my memory like uh, uh, Banupriya, Raviteja, all of them born in this month and uh, the great uh, uh, king of England, Henry VII, also born in this month. Benjamin Franklin, Alexander Hamilton, born in this month. There are like uh, so many people really, um, hats off to all of them. And uh, yeah, so there are many awesome people they are born in this January and many of my friends are also there whose birthdays fall into this month. So we are this video, I'm conveying my, my birthday wishes to all of them. I wish you a very happy birthday for all of you born in this month of January. This is really awesome. So many legends born in the month of January. Hats off to all of them. Let's talk about uh, one of the legend for today, Stephen Hawking. Stephen Hawking was a great British scientist, professor, cosmologist, and he's well known for his immense contributions towards the modern science. He published so many books and uh, proposed theories on time travel and black holes. Stephen Hawking born on January 8th in 1942 in Oxford, England. That is exactly 300 years after the death of another famous scientist, physicist Galileo. Stephen Hawking was born to a well-educated couple Frank and Isabel Hawking. His mother was Scottish. She earned her way into the Oxford University in 1930s itself, where very, uh, where the time, uh, very few women used to go to the colleges. And uh, Hawking's father was another Oxford graduate was a medical researcher and he was specialized in tropical diseases. So they're all well educated. As we think, Stephen Hawking was not an extraordinary student in his early childhood. 
in his uh, first years of school he used to come third place from the bottom of his class in st alban's school but he focused more on the pursuits outside of the school he showed interest on the sky and stars and he loved board games with his friends stephen hawking prepared his own board games in his teens hawking with his friends developed a computer that uh, used to solve the mathematical equations that's really an inspirational thing for modern day parents that we should not uh, force our kids to learn the subjects that we like instead we should let them go on their own interest stephen hawking in his 17th he entered into the college in oxford university actually he wanted to become a mathematician but uh, since the oxford university at that time couldn't offered mathematics course he had to take the physics a subject especially in cosmology later in 1962 he was graduated from oxford university with honors in natural science and he continued his further studies did a phd in cosmology from cambridge university in 1963 hawking met another undergraduate jane wild later they became couple in 1965 and the couple gave birth to three children older one frank born in 1967 later lucy born in 1970 and timothy born in 1979 with these events there was another big thing happened in hawking's life hawking would occasionally trip and fall down and slur his speech when he went to see the doctor he was diagnosed with a very dangerous disease als amyotrophic lateral sclerosis in a simple sense a nerve that controls all the muscles stopped working and doctors told him that he would not survive more than 2 years but taking this one as challenge hawking focused more on his research and he became later in 1968 a member of institute of astronomy and later published many books in 1973 he published his highly technical book the large scale structure of space and time later he published many books and proposed theories on time travel and black holes and contributed a lot to the modern science finally the great scientist left this world on march 14th 2018 leaving lots of hopes on time travel and uh, many more contributions to the modern day science